The courtroom is a little less packed today as two key witnesses. Loreline's daughters gave their testimonies yesterday. The state called its seventh witness to the stand, Detective Matthew Elrod with Vandenberg County Sheriff's Office. Elrod interviewed Loreline twice the day after the incident, but it wasn't until the third interview that took place four days later at the jail that Loreline began recalling details, admitting to shooting his wife, then shooting and stabbing his daughters. He also shows emotions for the first time in this interview, at one point crying, saying he couldn't take it anymore and thought he would go to heaven. Plant Loreline has remained sitting forward the past few days of the trial almost motionless. But recently, as defense attorney Robert Canada has begun calling witnesses, Loreline is now facing the witness stand and swiveling around in his chair a little bit. This morning, as he was coming into court, I asked him if he had anything to say. Hear his answer tonight on Eyewitness News at 5. At the court's building, Amelia Young, Eyewitness News.